All right, so we have done some things here in the admin relating links and organizing some HTML, right? Now, it's time for us to, to make something happen. And we have a table called categories in the database. And we are going to be displaying that page right here. When we click on this link, we want to go to that page and we want something to come and display here. So we're going to be building the forms that we need. If you don't remember, go back to the lecture where I introduced you to the CMS and see how that looks. All right. So let's go ahead and open our co-editor. And inside admin, I'm going to close this. And inside admin, we find admin. I'm going to make a new file inside the do we want to make this includes or do we want to let's just make this right in the index categories actually categories.php all right so let's call this categories.php and that's just in the root of the admin folder all right and here what we want to do is we want some of the data from the index in here all right so I'm gonna just write um, I select everything here and I'm going to copy it into the categories. All right. Now, if you notice here, we are missing some of, we're missing the database. All right. So we have the database in the includes in here. Actually, is it in include? It's not in the includes here. It's in the includes right here. So we need to go there and get it. But I'm, I don't want to keep doing this over and over for every page, all right? So what I want to do is include this file into the header, actually, of our document and of this file. Just go to admin and do that on the header. So let's go into includes and let's go to the header of the admin. And we can call this admin header so you don't get confused. We can rename it if you want. Let's call this admin. Well, let's just leave it like that. But just in case for you, so you don't want to get confused, make sure that you are in the admin folder and includes head of that PHP. All right. So here I want to include that. And I'm just going to say PHP. I'm just going to write something down here. And I'm going to include this. So we are going to include this once. Let's do it once. I think this function should do fine with us because we want to include this once. We don't want it to be included in this all over the place. So actually, just leave it like this for now. And then later on, we will actually come and fix up our and secure our data. But right now, we, we don't need it. So we know that this is outside. So we need to go outside and find a folder called includes db dot php all right because we need to go outside the admin and we need to go to another folder called includes right so now let's check it to see if this connection is working so let's go to our admin index and here I want to check on that connection real quick to see if we got a connection so let's just say let's open a php tag here and let's just check on that connection real quick and let's just say if connection then we want to display something we don't actually we don't need that if we're writing just one line we just we just say echo something geez if I can get it right that would be nice all right con we're just gonna say con real quick just to see if this is working let's go back to this refresh and we can see it right here you can't see it but it's in is in that black spot right here so we are connected all right so now that we are connected we need to go to that categories page and includes header categories I had it right here on the working perfect let's go to the content of the categories let's build the first form let's see we have some time on this to build the for first form and this one we're gonna have a diff actually let's create a diff of first we create a diff of call XS with this actually this is a class a bootstrap class and you're just gonna make our diff half of the page size uh, half of the screen 
is a 12 column grid so this is a six column meaning that it's half of the screen okay and here what we want to create is a form that we can add some data into our database all right so now that we have this here and we want to say we have a diff with a class of form group I'm just trying to gather my thoughts and then input text this is going to be cat title let's just put that in there right away make sure that you put this here cat title this is where we're going to be putting the title of our categories all right so we need two forms one on the left and one on the right so we have this div form class there is going to make our form look nice uh, we also need another div for our input and this input type is going to be submit we are going to have the name change to submit and value we're just going to say add category category all right I think that should be enough and let's just go ahead and make this a little smaller so that way I can put something else in here um, what I want to put is a class just to make this look nice and the class is let me take this out of here that way you can see I don't want you to miss on anything btn btn two classes primary all right all right and this one also has a class of this one let's just gather my thoughts with the class all right so this class is going to be form control and this is going to just going to make things look nice all right so let's see how that looks for now um that's the only way we can go and let's go to categories actually we should put a link here to categories that PHP we can see we are getting there and this is this half of the screen like I said before let's put a label on that and make it look a little nicer so let's just make this bigger here there we go put a little label on this right here and this is for cat title right I'm just gonna put cat title and just a little different there and category title categories I'm just gonna put just add category there that's fine let's go back to it let's see how that looks refresh all right so we got the first one here right I'm gonna leave the the rest for the next video we're gonna we need to build actually one a table here on the right hand side and we need to build another form that we are going to be displaying with some jQuery some JavaScript all right I promise it won't be hard it just takes a little time all right so anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next lecture take care